I guess it would hurt to, it wouldn't hurt to turn the camera on, right? I swap batteries for the, the live stream and uh, forgot to turn the camera on. But here we are. Awesome. Let's see who's here. Uh, let me open this out. I gotta arrange my windows. I did download all the pictures today. And I'm going to be using Lightroom today instead of Workspace. Uh, so this will be... I mean, I use Lightroom for my my professional work, but it's very different than doing it creatively like, like I do in Workspace because Lightroom is a little bit more dry. I mean, they have presets and things like that, but you have to work a little harder to get, get those uh, creative looks, right? <laughs> Oh, my mic, thanks. I keep forgetting that. I gotta, I gotta switch to my wireless mic. I'm gonna do that in my next stream. Okay, saw to be fun. Awesome. Dave, Bob, everybody's here. Jalay, Randy, Walter, good to see you. Hey, Walter, email me your address. Um, I know it's, I, I, I know the street and the city. I just don't know the street number of your house. If you can email me your address. I'd appreciate that. And yeah, about what happened. So email me that address. <clears throat> uh, Randy's first. Okay, so we have a good group here. Awesome. Let me let me arrange my windows so I can I can get started with Lightroom. So I'm gonna close this and And Walter is a Capture One uh, affiliate and trainer and stuff. He has a uh, web uh, YouTube channel called Walter Rowe, and uh, he does tutorials for Capture One. So if you're interested in Capture One, you can watch his videos or ask him any questions about it. Uh, he he would be a good source for that. Okay, um, almost there. I gotta move this. I wish there was a button you could push to just automatically arrange things instead of using this mouse. I click that and this. <clears throat> what does that button do? Nothing. <sighs> One second. The market, good to see you. Hey, Wu Dang, good to see you. Uh this is the button okay so i have this four minute timer now so i can uh limit my edits because you know i can get kind of too carried away so i'm going to be using a light room gosh look how big this panel is though i don't like this i wish i could make it smaller why why didn't it... Yeah, this, this should do it. Well, anyway, all right, that's good enough. Uh, oh, good, we got 23 images today. Wow, 23 times four. That's a couple of hours edi editing here today. So I'll, I'll have to work really fast. <laughs> <laughs> I pushed the ejector button by mistake. Oh, sorry, Roberto. We'll see you later. I'll do yours first since it's right here. They have a nice uh, portrait. Um, okay, so let me let me reset the timer. There we go. That's what that button's for. Resetting the timer. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, you know, portraits. I generally like to be at uh, black and white. So let's do that. Oh, look at all these presets here. 
Oh, forget that. I don't know how to use those. And then I assume the haze and everything will be very similar here. A little bit of clarity and texture. I really like working with the tone curve in uh, in workspace better than I do working with these sliders. So, I mean, it has a tone curve here, but it's just, it's not the same for some reason. And let me bring up his skin tones a little bit. Uh, I guess we don't really need to. They're already pretty, pretty solid. I should bring them down. <clears throat> okay, and let's add a little vignette. Where is that? Here it is. I mean, it doesn't need any cropping. It's already cropped. And I think the last thing I'll do is maybe, let me see if I can brighten his eyes a little bit. Um, wow, that looks creepy. But there we go. Not too much. It doesn't look right. And the highlights. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> uh, so, quick before and after. How do you do that? That's this button. Oh, dang it. So if I do this. There, there's a before and after. Just to kind of bring out the, the textures and the wrinkles in his face and things. Not the eyes, huh? Yeah, I think the eyes, it's a little bit weird. I like the eyes when they were kind of blacked out. I kind of agree. Since I got 51 seconds left here, let me, uh, let me turn that off. There. I think that's a more dramatic image without the eyes, actually. Uh, but yeah, I prefer black and white with portraits. Okay, uh, let's go to the next one. Ah, look what happened in the color. It's really punchy. All right. Oh, hey, there's Wu Dang. <laughs> Sitting there in a rock. How'd you get uh, get in there? Oh, my God. I would... Th oh, this is a water here. Okay, I could deal with that. I thought this was like a cliff or something. But I wouldn't freak out too much if I had to walk along this. Because if I fell in the water, I'd probably be okay. Maybe. <laughs> Um, and you rushed over. Wow. Do you need to crop it? I don't know because you didn't capture enough of the cliff space to really, um, I think need to have you there for scale. I mean, there is some scale with you in there. Um, the only thing I would do is warm this image up really and crop a little bit. Just do, you know, your basic uh, rule of thirds type cropping. Maybe accentuate the water here. Um, let me click auto here. And auto here. There we go. <laughs> Lightroom does a good job with the auto settings. Maybe a tiny bit of straightening. So that the rock you're sitting on at least. You look upright. Yeah, that looks good. And... Let's see. Oh, I didn't I didn't set the timer, sorry. Um 
But this edit won't take long because Wu Tang Sen's already pretty much done images. Let me add a little bit. I Meaning he already you already cropped it well and and exposed it correctly, so there's not a ton of work that needs to be done. Uh, I might bring out the water here a little bit. I'm gonna use a grad filter. It's a four minute timer, but like I said, I don't think this. Let me. I'm going to bring the water in a little bit more. And then. Um, let's bring the highlights in. Make it a little more punchy. And there's still a bit too much green in this. Let me add a little bit more red or magenta. There we go. That's looking good. And then uh, definitely some texture. I don't think we need much to haze. If I do this, I have to adjust the blacks a little bit. But I like how the haze really brings out the brings out all the tones in the um, in the picture. And then we'll just sharpen. It's a little bit soft for some reason. Oh, you're at ISO 1600. That's why. Wow. Why didn't you uh, stop your lens down a little bit more, Wu Dang? You're at 5.6. I think at this range, you'll be okay stopping it. Stopping it. If it's not down, it's up, right? You should be like at F1 something or F2. And let's add a tiny bit. Um, tiny bit of vignette, like so. And bring the highlights back in. There we go. I would say a little bit more in the shadows. All right, let's do a before and after. Whoops, that's not the right key. What is it? This this button. So um, there you go, before and after. Yeah, I know you're kind of going for sharpness, but I think most lenses, if you just stop it down, just one stop. But I don't know what lens you used. I'd have to look at the exit. But there, there's the edit. Basically, it would just have to be. Uh, it just basically had to be warmed up a bit. <laughs> okay, um, and then show that there's water here because it's not obvious here. It looks almost like a straight cliff, right? So I just darken this a little bit. Um, but that's, that's my final edit. I mean, I didn't crop it at all, but I'm out of time. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, what? Let's see what the EXIF was real quick. It's all the way down at the bottom. Sony 7M3 with a 28 to 75. Yeah, you could easily shot this at 2.8 or, or F4 and dropped your ISO down to 800, I think, and it would have been just a tad bit sharper even. Kind of a trade-off, right? Do you, do you stop down <clears throat> for lens sharpness or do you and sacrifice ISO or vice versa, right? Um, okay. Yeah, I saw the 150th of a second. All the exit, the, the main exit data is right here. It just doesn't tell me what lens and camera. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, restart the timer. And wow, I have an awesome Audi here. Let's, uh, let me look at this full screen. So we got pretty good perspective correction. But we need to do a little more because it looks a little bit off. And I don't think we need a reflection of the whole building, so I'm going to crop in. I just need the car. Uh, maybe a square crop will do. Something right about there. Let's, let's get rid of... A 
little bit more on this side. Now I don't really have to worry about the distortion as much. Bring the highlights in. Oh, there's a little bit of blue in there. And uh, let me close this down. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing with the reflection. I'm just going to bring it, bring it in a bit. Just to make it a little darker than the rest of the image. So I don't want a mirror image. That would just those just look weird to me. And we'll cool it off a bit. There. Because I'm going to warm up the image overall, I think. Yeah, the auto does, does a good job. So I'm going to bring this a lot more in the blacks. Because there's, there's a lot of place, places in the blacks that we don't need much detail. And let me try We'll just add some sharpening like so. Let's just see if auto fixes this. Oh uh, yeah, not bad. <clears throat> A little bit of distortion in the car though, so let me no, it's already there, so there. Uh and of course I always like some vignette. Let's feather this, bring the highlights back in. <laughs> oh, thanks, Suding. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me bring the highlights in a little bit more. I'd like to, what do I got, one minute left? Um, I'm going to bring this down, but then push the shadows just a tiny bit. And let's add just a, I know the cars nowadays, they got these nice 5K lights, but I like the lights to look yellow and sparkly. Okay. Just a little bit more emphasis on the light there. And... I think the top is a little bit too bright, so I'm going to just bring this down a bit, particularly the highlights. But I'm going to increase the saturation just a bit. Uh, where is it? Where is Oh, here it is. Maybe not that much. And warm it up a bit. Okay, time. <clears throat> so let's look at the before and after. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, it's simple edit. Let's do uh, full screen. Yeah, that looks really good. I like it. So again, with water, I always like to make it a little darker, a little cooler than the rest of the image. Um, if I had more time, I'd probably do more of a twilight shot and bring the, the skies in a lot darker and the windows brighter and this brick a little bit darker. And then I could really, you know, if I spent like another 10 minutes on this image, I could really make this really interesting, I think. But okay, that was a good shot. Let's uh, go to the next one. Um, oh, okay. This is a really nice church. Oh, a little soft here. ISO 1600, that's why. So, you know, whenever you pump your ISOs up, you, get a, you lose a little bit of detail. I like this up here. Um... All right, let me first, let me do the distortion correction. 
It's like, I just can't deal with that. <laughs> and then... Uh, wow, let me do... I'm debating... I'm going to turn the vibrance down and crank up the saturation. So we get a little more contrast in the colors, like so. Tiny bit of clarity, dehaze to bring the clouds in. Uh, the white balance is about right. Let's bring some of the highlights in. Tiny bit on the shadows. And where's my luminance here? Let's try making this more look more like golden hour. Like so. Okay, it's a little strong. I forgot the timer again. Dang it. Um... Let me turn the saturation down just a bit. All right, I think I think my time expired on this. I'm not sure. But um, I'd like to bring out, where's my luminance on the blues? And let's just fix some of the noise, mostly color noise. Oh, Jale, is that do you are you talking about the Audi picture or are you talking about something else? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh All right, I think I'm out of time cuz I I didn't start the timer on this one right. Let me Let me put some sharpness back in with some masking and a little texture. Okay, time. That's that's enough time. All right, so there's the before and after. And I think composition-wise, I didn't have to crop. Uh, there is one other thing I can do here. Is just get rid of this this wire and this wire. Well, anyway, you get the idea. We would have to brush out, uh, you'd have to brush out the wires a little better than I just did, but that's, that's my final image. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Um, yeah, really nice shot though, Jalay. Is this your image? I, I can't even tell. Uh, where's the file name? This is marked wolf. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Let me get the timer started. All right. And this is from Namba Tatsuo. I think you're in Japan, right? Okay. And we shot with the Olympus camera, EM5. ISO 250. All right, that's enough on that. Let's develop this. Wow, I like this cat. I like the environment he's in. But I I don't want to I don't want to crop it out if I don't have to, but I think I think I have to.
We're going to go somewhere in here. I think that's about right. A little more room on the left. Let me, let me try a different. Or when I get quiet, I'm really focused, right? Uh. I think a simple rule of thirds, but I don't like all the headroom. Oh, we lost everything. All right, this needs a lot of color or none. Let me look at black. Yeah, let's go with color. Yeah, Lauren, I think you're right. It's a street scene, right? I just hate the... Man, I spent three minutes on just the composition alone. I'm going to have to go with my original. I think, I think Lauren's right, though. It's better as a street scene. Let me Okay, and some vignette. And let's do a little bit on the eyes. All right, time's up, right? <clears throat> so before and after. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I think I cropped in way too much. This is really a street scene like Lauren was saying. Uh, but editing wise, I think this edit looks good. I think, I think this was a decent job of editing. It's just the cropping part wasn't that great. All right, let's go to the next one. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, this is... Let me see. Oh, let me restart the timer. There, okay. Come on. Let me do some, a quick distortion thing. Okay. And compositionally, I think we're okay. I like I like the scale. The only thing I don't like is this one little brush right here. So I'm going to fix that. We'll just pick 
something down here maybe. There. All right, and then uh, it looks like there's some wires here too, but let me let me give Otto a quick thing, and then we'll do our own special. Clarity. I think. I don't know if I want the bridge to be straight like this. That... Now the horizon is crooked. We'll just straighten it a little bit more. Okay. Ah, it's too much. Okay. Now, I wonder if I can Where are the shadows? The shadows are this side, so the light's coming in right here. But we got kind of a mix of uh, Quite that much. Twenty two seconds. All right, and then let me fix the we got more light up here. And fix the blue water with oh two seconds oh dang it I'm out of time I didn't get to work on the blue channel but let me do something real quick uh just a little bit more light in the sky all right there's the before and after oh it's a little bit it's a little bit harsh on the white balance I'm gonna pull it back a little there now we're done so that's that's my final edit <laughs> from uh, from this, right? I think that looks a lot better. And it's a really beautiful shot too. Really beautiful. Okay, so a little bit of correction and stuff, but yeah, that looks really good. I just wanted to do a little bit of light painting on it. Like I said, if I spent more time on it, it would be uh, it'd be a lot more interesting. But all right, let's go to the next one and see what we got here. Uh, I have an astro shot. Auto never works well with astro. Look at that. Oh, and there's a comet in here. Let me get, this is really cool the way it's framed. And let me get rid of 
this. Wow. Oh, I forgot the dang timer again. Um, yeah, the EXIF data, it's ISO 1000, 17 millimeter F1.8 for six seconds. Uh, the EXIF data is right up here. Right up here. If you can't, I'll, I'll read it out loud because I know the print's really small. All right, let me fix some of the color noise. Oh, that's noise reduction. I want color noise, this one. Yeah, there. And... I want a ton of sharpness. That really helps bring out the... Uh, the stars. And let's increase I think vibrance is usually better in this case. Let me compare. Yeah, I think vibrance will work better. I'm gonna bring the blue down a little bit and the yellows. And then I'm going to light paint a little bit. Just the highlights and a touch on the shadows and whites. Right in here. And here. Like so. Just touch in here. Let me erase a little bit like this. All right, I'm done. Um, gosh, this one corner though. I wish I could deal with this corner a little bit better. And yeah, it just needs a slight Tilt this way. Maybe a slight crop in. That'll get rid of that corner. <laughs> Maybe too much crop. I like the field. Let's try a horizontal. No, I think the original crop is good. Just, I just like to take a little bit off the top. But, okay. Maybe like that. All right, I'm done. Uh, so before and after. <clears throat> Oh, my brush, my brush overshot a little bit right here, but I can fix that easily. But yeah, a little bit of light painting and 
then bringing out the stars and the comet. I think that looks pretty good. I just, I just missed it here with the brush, but okay. Good shot. Good shot. Let's go to the next one. Uh, restart the timer. I'm going to try and stick to the timer this time. So we're at ISO 200, 28 millimeters, f4.7, one three thousandth of a second. So this was a very, very bright day. Um, and I don't know. Let me see if I can make this more red down here. We'll go to hue. See if I can pull, let me try this color. Just trying to get it more complementary with the green. Okay. I forget that. Add a little contrast specific to the color. And the no. I feel like this corner is the most interesting part, actually. We'll warm this up. What am I got? I got a minute left. Let me pull off. Sharpness is a little bit heavy handed here. Where is this color coming from? I guess I don't need all of this anymore. Turn that off. Okay, <clears throat> not, not a great, not a great edit, but that's, that's all I can do in the time I got. But I didn't like the whole picture, so I, I kind of went with this, because there was just too much in the scene. <clears throat> um, you know, Lightroom doesn't let me see the uncropped version. But I think this crop works better. And then I would fix this little spot down here on the left. But okay. Um, yeah, the lighting is a little bit too harsh for a shot like this. It would be more interesting if the lighting was more to the side and stuff. This lighting is really harsh. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, restart the timer. And wow. I don't know if there's... 
This is a fish eye or so, yeah, eight millimeters. Eight millimeter at ISO 1600, one at point 0.8 and one eighth of a second. So this is the eight millimeter fish eye lens. And I would say I got a fish eye correction in here. Let me do that. And let's let's do auto here. Oh, it is on auto. So we need to fix the rotate the uh, the angle. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's normal. I mean, it depends on the lens, but yeah, that's pretty normal to get those halos. Uh, now, the question is, I think... We'll just go 16 by 9. And the colors, let's do some contrast on the colors. And then warm this up a tiny bit. And we're going to have to denoise. What is this noise up here? There. And that is lens flare. I'm going to fix that. Uh, split tone, maybe. Do a blur vignette. Ah, see, those are things I really don't know how to do in Lightroom. Wudang, a blur vignette and split tone. I don't. I'm not really good at those things. Where's my uh, split toning window? Let me think. We'll make the dark tones or the highlights a little bit warmer and the uh, the shadow areas a little bit cooler. We'll tone that down a little bit. All right, I think I'm done. Uh, I don't know how to fix halos too well, honestly. I, I don't think there's much you can do around that. If you didn't add it yourself in post-processing, it's hard to take out uh, once they're in there. I mean, I could, I could kill the highlights a little bit, but that helps. But there we go. Okay, I, I, I'm out of time. So there's, let's look at the before and after. And very nice, you can fix halos with a curve. Okay. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a really expert at Lightroom, but uh, I try. But I fixed the distortion and just did a 16 by 9 crop on this one. Uh, a little bit heavy on the saturation. <clears throat> I, think, I think if I turn, turn the saturation down a bit, that would help. Okay, let's go to the next one. So we have a DNG and a TIFF. I think this looks like, oh, that's weird. Let's work with the DNG. <clears throat> uh, okay. I love Jaguars. 
I used to have a Jaguar, an XJS piece of crap, but I loved it. <laughs> um, man, let me, I, I need to get a little bit straighter line here. It just feels, I mean, this car might be that wonky, but I just feel like it, the Jaguar should be pointing up. Oh, the timer. Hold on. There we go. There, that feels a little bit better. And because the Jaguar was kind of jumping downwards, right? It just needs to be jumping upwards. <laughs> Let me see. Black and white is going to be awesome on this. So let's do that. Let's crush the blacks. Touch the whites. And bring in some tones with the haze and clarity. <clears throat> and yeah, slight sepia, maybe. Uh, maybe we can split tone it. There. Good idea. Slight sepia looks good. Tone that down just a bit. And we'll make the shadows cooler. And we'll shift the balance more towards the sepia side. All right, I think I'm done. Uh, well, my Jaguar was a piece of crap, not Jaguars in general. I love the XJ6, the XJS, the XKEs. I love them. I love them. You know, and... and my XJS, though, left me stranded a couple of times. Oh, that was rough. But it was a nice V12. I loved it, though. I, I would buy it again. Uh, I just just don't have the money or the resources to maintain it, though, because it was it's expensive to work on those things. But okay. Uh, I think I'm done here, so... That's the before and after. So just a slight crop and tilt and uh, a shift to sepia. I mean, I, I like it to be a little bit more gritty, but um, I think that looks really good. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oops. Um, sorry, I'm not good with the keys on, on the... Uh, on Lightroom. Restart the timer. Need to hit the I key. Oh, what is that? I key. Let me try that. Oh. Okay, there's the... Imp yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, there's some exit data. It's a little bit easier. Not a lot easier to see. It's a little easier to see. You parry, okay, good. Um, thanks, I forgot about the I key. <laughs> I usually don't like all that lettering in the way, so I just turned it off and I rarely use it. <clears throat> but okay, uh, like I said, I'm not a, I use Lightroom a lot, but not, but, but for very specific thing, it's a very specific tool for me. I don't use it creatively much. Wow, I love, I love this shot. We just need to bring the highlights way down. And let's bring the blacks in. And turn the vibrance down, saturation up, like so. And I need a little dehaze because of the saturation in just a bit. Let's bring in the shadows. Nope. Uh, 
All right, now I'm going to have to brush the dog. And some dehaze. Ouch, ouch. Oh, this was this was rough. Um really high contrast here. I don't know if I can save the dog here. Let me look at it. <sighs> Am I getting anywhere? Not really. Oh. I don't I don't know. I'm I'm debating if I should silhouette the dog or not. But I I don't think so. Wow, this was tough. This was tough. It wasn't it's just a little bit too high dynamic range. You needed a little bit of a flash fill here, and it would have been a lot better. And then compositionally, I think we're okay. Maybe just, just move them over to the side. Brush out this leash. Okay. And we're done. <laughs> so I tried to say the yeah, it needs it needs a fill flash or something. It's just too much contrast here for me to recover. Um But there you have it. Really beautiful shot, but it needs a little fill flash. All right, uh, let's go to the next one. Restart the timer. Oh, look at this, fall colors. Nice. Um, Man, let me let me just uh this needs to be a little bit warmer. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. And this foreground's a little bit too much, so I'm going to just do a square crop. Not there. This way. And then some vignette. Just a tad here. Oh, sorry, let me hit the I key for everybody. Uh, you guys can look at that for a second. All right, Wu-Dang, we'll see you later. I, I think you mean you're heading out. Uh, let's add a little bit of vignette. Better that, keep the highlights so it's not so obvious. All 
I really need the bottom. What do I got? Two minutes? All right. I really want the bottom to be a little bit less prominent here. A little bit less saturation. There we go. The leaf on the bottom needs to go. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. But let's, uh, let's darken this side of the tree a little bit too. Right here at the base, maybe a little bit more. Okay. And then some clay haze for the skies and everything else. Pull off this a little bit more, some clarity. There. And then brush in a little bit of light. Where's my brush? What time? 20 seconds, dang it. I'm going to go a little bit over time here because I like this picture. <laughs> and then a little bit less here. All right, I gotta stop. So let's look at the before and after. <laughs> I think that looks good. Let me turn off those dots. So what did I do? Yeah, I softened it a little bit with the clarity and texture. Tiny bit of light painting and voila. There you go. I think that came out pretty well. I'd love to spend more time light painting some images, but because uh, I, I, I want to bring out some of the branches in here and man, I would just love to spend a lot more time on this. You know, like right in here, I'd like to bring out some of the branches. But anyway, you get the idea. All right, uh, let's go to the next one. Beautiful shot though. Start the timer. Oh, okay, this is from Lauren. 14 millimeter. Yeah, you're how are you liking that so far? I know you've been shooting with that for a while. You just got this lens. Nice. Really wide though, right? Because you're always wide, like 14 millimeters. Uh, so let me just see what auto does. Not enough. So we'll bring up the shadows a little bit, but then I'm going to crush the blacks. Let's bring the highlights in and let's warm up the image a bit. Well, we'll have to do it selectively. Add some contrast in here. I'm going to brighten this up a little bit more because I want to bring the brightness of everything else down. 
like so. Maybe. Oh, where's my timer at? Sorry about that. I'll take a minute off. Uh, Gosh, that's starting to look a little bit unnatural, isn't it? Lauren likes really colorful images. <clears throat> it's just a tad too much green in this image. Okay. And let's have the biker riding into the frame. And I'd like to bring out the red in this brick to contrast this green a little bit. I don't know if I can do that. Uh, where are my colors? There we go. And let's tone the oranges down actually. And the yellows. And the green is bothering me. I think a hue shift on the green would be better. There. All right, I'm done. I had, I had, I forgot the timer, so let's see where we're at. Um, but yeah, basically just uh, brighten the image up, maybe a little vignette, and pumped up the red. It looks over sharpened, maybe. I didn't add any sharpening, but let me see, maybe Lightroom did. Let me look. Yeah, now I have all the sharpening off. So all I can do is reduce texture, right? Maybe, there. Okay, all done. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. All right. Uh, how do I get to the next one? Dang it. Here we go. Here's one from Bob. Okay. This looks familiar. I think we had a tighter shot last time of this scene. Let's see if I can do any better in Lightroom because I didn't, I didn't do a great job in Workspace last time. Um... Let me just do auto and auto just to get me started. Oof. Very pastel y here, so I need to. Let me go 16 by 9. I forgot the timer again, didn't I? Sorry. Um, 
I just want to get rid of that green thing in the road. Maybe I have to just brush it out. Let me just brush it out. Oh, thank you, Neo. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, wow, I cannot... A little bit too warm. The lighting is so soft here. I'm just struggling a little bit with uh, bringing in some contrast. Let me pull the oranges down and yellow. Pink, green. But oranges need to be put. Oh my God, thank you, Randy. <laughs> I really appreciate that. It helps me out a lot. And I'm going to pull this down a bit. I still feel like there's too much foreground. I don't know. I hate to do a 16 by 7. That feels like it would be too wide. Yeah, let's do 16 by 9. And I don't know if I can get that twilight hour effect into it. Let me see. Nah, that's not working. Okay, um, that's a hair better. Let me let me do this because I, I don't want the road to be too yellow, but maybe a Maybe a graduate of filter and just pull the shadows down and the highlights and the saturation. All right, final answer. <laughs> Ooh, man, this is a tough shot, too. But but I think that is a little better at it. Not not much, but a little better. Just feels a little warmer. the The shot on the left was just a little bit too cool, mainly, and then the slight crop. All right. Uh, let's see. Wow. You guys go to these interesting places. i never seen a pier that big. I have some people down here. All right, let's, um, oh, this Captain Craig, because he wanted to, uh, <coughs> he wanted to send a raw image. Let me just get it started with some auto things here. And I wonder if the auto straighten will work here. Not really. There. Let 
Om di Hayes. Oh, I see some sensor spots. All right. And let's do a 16 by 9. Thank you so much, Dave. I appreciate that. if a rule of thirds works. All right, that kind of works. Now, the colors are slightly off. I'm just so used to like Olympus colors. When I see, you know, when I see Sony colors, it always, I, I can't put my finger on it, but I can always see a slight difference. It, it could be all in my head, but I feel like every time I get a Sony image, I, I just, the colors are just slightly Lightly not right. Let me warm it up just a little bit more. Oh my god, Wu Dang, I appreciate that. You guys are so generous. Um, I think I need to do a shift, a hue shift on these colors. Yeah, that, I like that better. Just a little bit more pastel -y. And need a little more rotation. And let's add some not really necessary with this image. Let me look at some, just a mild, mild vignette. My goodness, Elaine, thank you. I'm sorry, I haven't even said hi to Elaine yet today, because you were in the last stream, you came in kind of halfway. How you doing? <laughs> um, all right, I think time's, oh, I got 20 seconds. Let me see, what else can I do? I need a little more in the shadows. And pull the whites down just a bit. Maybe the blacks. All right. Uh, that's all I got time for. So let's see the before and after. <clears throat> wow, that actually looks a lot better, I think. I like, I like that. It was mainly the blues that were bothering me. I know they're a little bit more teal, but... I would I would brush in some I would brush this the water in a little bit different blue but I like this 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 uh I like that teal look in the sky a little better but beautiful 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 image all right let's move on wow well, I think I've seen this one Captain Craig but we'll do it we'll do it real quick let me let me get the timer. I feel like I've done this one already. I, I have, definitely. Um, let's go to the next one. Oh, Levente's image. I wonder where he is today. I haven't seen him. And we have, uh, let's see. Nice uh, lady walking here towards a bridge. He's looking at something. Uh, thank you, John. Let me let me just auto this and auto this to get me started. I like the white balance now. Anything in the sky here? And let's get rid of some of the color noise. And let's let's sharpen the heck out of this, but in a very selective way. Okay, good enough. 
I just want that bridge to look. Okay, now let's fix the color. I like to do it this way because vibrance tends to reduce the color contrast. See, like if I increase vibrance, now all the colors are about the same saturation, but if I do it this way, you can see it brings more contrast than the colors. Uh, a little bit of texture and clarity. Some dehaze. And maybe I'll go the other way on the texture. Yeah, let's go this way. Make it a little softer. And this sky is a little bit too... Pull that off. Not really a sky replacement, but close enough. Oops. What do I got? One minute? I got one minute. Let me turn it, the I button off. Uh, where's my brush? Brush, erase, you take a little bit out in here, okay. And let's crop in. Just a little bit more. Okay, need a little more uh, dehaze. And we'll bring the blacks back in and a little bit of shadows. Oh, perfect. All right, let's look at the before and after. <laughs> yeah, I think, whoops, sorry about that. I think that looks a lot better. I have this leading line down here in the corner. The water, the water needs to be bluer though. Um, so let me just let me just do that. But there. All right, now that's a sloppy job on the water, but you get the idea. Something, something a little more blue in the water. All right, let's go to the next one. Beautiful shot, though. Who sent that one? That was from Levente. Yeah, really nice, Levente. Really nice. Oh, okay. Johnny, we have some beautiful bokeh here. That's the uh, 12 to 40 at 2.8. Um, this just needs to be cropped to a square. Oops, let me get the timer on. And yeah, let's leave a little headroom because I'm going to add some vignette. Let me see, cool that off a bit. And then, tiny bit of noise, here and here, and 
a little bit of vignette. There, and I'm going to brush in let's make this a little bit darker okay Hmm. Okay, I think I'm done. That's really all I can do here. Uh, yeah. A little bit more brightness here, I think. Elena's right. Let's try it with highlights and whites. See if we can warm that up a bit. No. Okay, so before and after, and yeah, basically I increased the contrast and cropped in, right? That's about all I can do here. I might, I might brush out that yellow spot at the bottom. It's a little distracting. This, this one here, like that. But uh, other than that, that's, that's what I would do. Oh, thank you, Jonas. You like that? <laughs> it came out okay. Not, not, not great, but it's okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Yeah. Rob shoot photos. He said he was going to send me a macro shot. He, he uh, messaged me on Instagram. He always likes to compare what I do with what he does. <laughs> I mean, I guess everybody does, right? But I mean, um, I don't know how to crop this. This is weird. Let's do a, let me, let me do a Fibonacci. Let me see how that looks. I'm not seeing it. Do a vertical. Yeah, that fits a little better. I thought there was a Fibonacci in there somewhere. All right. Now. And yeah, vertical crop, right, Demorkin? But using that Fibonacci thing, I think helps. Let's do auto, auto. Warm it back up a tiny bit. Bring the shadows. Yeah, right there is good. A little bit of texture and some sharpening. Like so. Get rid of some color noise. Maybe a tiny bit of noise reduction. Okay, and oh, it's missing a leg. Look at that. All right, good. Uh, let's see. I got a minute. Let me see what else I can do. Let's try. Let's try getting the contrast right in here on colors. 
Yeah, there we go. We're going to turn the green off, but I want the bug to have all the colors. So let's let's um let's pull the greens back. About like that. And Okay. Oh, crap. What I wanted to do was this. Just soften that yellow. That's not working. All right, I think I'm done. Light vignette. Where is it? Right there. Okay, time's up. Nah, honestly, that... That's okay. I, I thought I'd made more changes than that, but that doesn't look too much different. <laughs> huh. Yeah, the yellow in the corner. Oh, you're here, Rob. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that yellow in the top left, I, I'm not, I'm not digging that, but okay. Uh, I'm glad, I'm glad you got one little nugget out of it. <laughs> let's, let's look at the next one here. Uh, restart the timer. And... Is this Bob's picture? Let me hit I. Oh, it's Neo. Gosh, this looks like a Bob Tishmarsh image for some reason. Okay. Wait, is that a bird? Yep. There's a bird, a dude walking his leash. <laughs> All right, let me see. Let me pull in some auto, auto, right in there, and shift the blues to be a little bit, a little bit more teal. I went the other way crazy. No, let's not get crazy. Lightroom, I, I'm not very creative in Lightroom. <sighs> not like in Workspace, I can... Yeah, there's definitely a crop coming, definitely. I just wanted to see where the colors are and the, and the tones. Uh... Yeah. Right. Sixteen by nine. This bird is distracting me. And so is this bird, actually. How come that didn't, um... How come that didn't brush out? Let me try again. 
Do less feathering. All right. And Something's weird about this Lightroom. Something's weird is happening. I'm not, it's not reacting like it should. Like, let me, let me, uh, develop. Oh, that was, oh, because I was on the frickin' brush. All right, let me add some vignette. Just a tiny bit of color noise. Can we silhouette that dude? Not really. Okay. Time's up. Oh, tree branch in the right corner. Yep, you're right. <laughs> Uh, other than that, yeah, I think this is where I would go. Dang, it just needs more color. Uh, what did I do? Saturation, yeah, just a tiny bit. Tiny bit there. All right, final edit. Okay, thanks, Neil. <laughs> I wish I could have done a better job, but I need to move on. Uh, let's go to, let's see, this is from Dave. Dave's been here a while. How you doing, Dave? <clears throat> um, where's my timer? Hold on. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Is there any detail left? A tiny bit. So. Ooh, that's too warm. Do we silhouette this? I think. And let's do, <clears throat> oh, you're going for silhouette. Okay, I was kind of thinking I could save a little bit of color here, but I might not be able to. I'm just gonna see what happens if I try to save that tiny bit of color. Why didn't that, why isn't that grabbing the color? Yeah, there's, there's no save in the color there. So, uh, let's do silhouette like you were thinking. And then increase the, uh, so this is this is a little bit of a twilight shot, right? Let's increase. Where's the magenta or purple? But let's warm this up a little bit back, and then kill some of the color noise, like so. That got rid of most of it. Get rid of some of the grain. Add some sharpening back in. Right there. I wonder if I can just bring a hint of this out. 
I don't know why that I find that part interesting, but for some reason I do. Okay. It looks weird though. Let me see. I don't know why I find this part interesting though, but I do. I just, I just gotta, I gotta continue working on this. I got a minute, so I'm gonna do it. I wonder if I can just add a little bit. Uh. Let me get rid of the, yeah, kind of overdid it on that side. One more. All right, I'm done. Uh, so I tried, I tried to, Come on, Lightroom, stop it. There. So I tried to um, save some of the color in the sky silhouette. I don't know why I like those two little leaves at the bottom. <laughs> those are flames. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Uh, but yeah, blue hour shot. Yeah, so we did save some of the blue hour and all that stuff. But I think that looks pretty good. I would, I would seriously try to work these leaves a little bit more, though, if I had more time. I feel like, I feel like, you know, this, this would be really cool, but okay. Uh, yeah, final answer. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. All right. Um, oh, we have some candles. Let's see from Arthur. Oh, uh, let's do auto. Man, it's a mess in here because it's a JPEG. So let's let's actually let's kill as much light as we can. This way, do a black and white. Add lots of texture and clarity. I'm sorry, not texture, but uh, dehaze and clarity. Add some vignette. Where's my vignette? It's all the way down here. Yeah. A little bit more feathering. There. And I'll make it a little grittier. There. Oh, hey, Levante. How are you? Yeah, I did your shot. I can't even remember what it was now. It was, it was a little rough, though. I can't remember now. I can't remember what yours was, but I did, I did your shot already. All right, I think I'm done with this one. Uh, maybe a square crop, and that's it. So, before and after. John, you say, flame seem to pop out of the frame. Yeah. <laughs> but there we go. Um... That's the effect I wanted. Ah, there's one. I, I got. I got a minute left. There's one thing I do want to change. Um. I don't like this one flame at the bottom. This needs to be gone. Can it be done?
Let me see. It cannot be done. <laughs> Maybe use a little smaller brush. Oh, I don't like it. I just crop it out. Crap. All right. <clears throat> oh, the one with the bridge. Okay. But all right, I think I think this is the direction I'd go. I definitely go black and white. It needs it needs. It needs not texture. It needs something though. But let me pull that back. But okay, let's go to the next one. Good shot though, Arthur. I like I like candles. Where's um. Yeah, the crop can be done better. I agree. Maybe a little more on this side. This this is a little stronger crop, right? And then a slight tilt. Like so. Something like that. It's almost there, but okay. Let's move on. You guys get the idea. Oh, is that the last one? That's the last one. All right. Ah, okay. Let's look at the uh, viewer edits. Um, so I, I, I didn't look at these. There were a couple from last week I missed. I think I missed uh, Wu Dang's uh, edit here from last week. This is, uh, yeah, I like this. Lots of, um, I don't know, it feels very, like, light leaky film looking. <laughs> and... Surge, yeah, this is very good. I like the colors here. And then this one, okay, Trevor. Just went with the structure here. I like that. All right, yeah, lots of awesome pictures, right? Every week is really awesome, though. All right, let's uh, this is let's look at the original image. This is the original image, and the reason it's so crooked because if you look at it, this is an eight-second exposure, and I didn't have a tripod, so I set my camera down on a picnic table, and the picnic table was crooked, <laughs> and I couldn't I couldn't get it to straighten out, and the light was dropping so fast, so I just I just went with what I had. So that's why it's so crooked. Otherwise, you know me, I don't take crooked pictures if I can help it. But there's there's the original uh, raw image, and I think I think that is pretty well exposed for the most part. And this was on my EM10 Mark II. Uh, but okay, let's um, let's look at what you guys did. So this is. <laughs> This is too tight, Bob, but I, I see where you're going, and there's a little bit of haloing here in the lines. I'm just trying to look at this and see... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's the other thing I forgot to tell you guys, is that on my forum, I put a new thread to show all the edits you guys have done on my images. I mean, I had to go into the trash bin on my computer to find them, so I only have the last 30 days worth. But uh, I'm putting all the edits you guys do of my images into my forum now, so you can look at them again later. Because I, I, I remember there were so many good edits that you guys did, and I, I just, I kind of miss them, you know? So I said, I'm going to put them up there for everyone to see forever so go to go to my forum and you'll see uh you'll see the last 30 days worth anyway <laughs> okay I'll, I'll i'll do yours elaine i'm sorry let me uh let me pull it up real quick this is uh elaine did bribe me we'll save it there and let me 
where is this? Resynchronize. Okay. All right, Elaine, let's give you four minutes. Um, a little motion blur here. We'll keep that. Let's straighten this out. This image, I think the auto straighten should work pretty well. Let me see. <laughs> kind of. Black and white? No. Maybe. Maybe. I think I will go black and white. And let's do this. This is actually the first image I think you sent me, Elaine, that, that needed to be edited some. <laughs> let's crop in a little tighter. Get that guy's foot out. And <laughs> this woman is going for it, man. I, I don't know what it is, but the look on her face is just priceless for some reason, even though it's a little bit blurry because of the motion blur. A little bit too much tilt. Oops, I lost your comments here. <laughs> uh, okay, Lauren, we'll see you later. Um, let me add some vignette. Yeah, that's good. I want to make this extra crispy, though. <laughs> Fast and furious. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Uh... Dang it, I wish I could. Maybe the texture. Yeah, let's go the other way on texture and clarity. Because Elaine likes those kind of uh, really artsy fartsy things. I'm going to do that. What do I got? 47 seconds. All right, let's... Let's move my... Uh, a little bit too harsh on here. Nine seconds, come on. I need something else in this image. Okay, time's up. Let's see what we did. <laughs> your puns, yeah, you're right. She's a frustrated Harley wannabe. Golly, this lady. She is hardcore, though, man. I love it. <laughs> this is a great picture. I really like this picture. Um, I would have gone color, but the colors are a little bit too sparse here and there. I think a partial color on just her bike with the blue and the red might have worked. 
But uh, with the four minutes I have, I can't really get too creative, but I think this works really well, the, the black and white. But man, she is hardcore. <laughs> I love it. All right. Thanks, Elaine. That's a good image. So let's go back to the images you guys sent in. Let's see. They would be all the reds. Uh, in this folder. Okay. All right. Uh, so Bob did the two masks at the top. I just... I'm still confused by this. Because normally Bob and I are on the same page with editing and crops and things, right? Like, when I see his, I'm like, oh, I get that. But this is this one I don't get. I'm just not getting this one. I don't know what you guys what you guys think. I'm just not getting that one. And <laughs> don't put an Italian flag on the end. That's cool. And straighten it out. But not much else there going on. It looks like... Uh, a little bit of shadow recovery. But this is a good crop. I like it. I like it. Nice 16 by 9. That's pretty good. Oh my god. This is awesome. Hugh Perry. So you did a sky replacement, but you did the Milky Way. He said, screw the twilight hour. You know, let's just make it hardcore, right? Full on Milky Way. So that's kind of cool, though. That's really nice. I like it. Um, a little bit too warm. I think I would have cooled it off just a little bit. But other than that, that is that is a cool shot. Um, yeah, that's a killer edit, right? Okay, well, let's see. Demorcan, I'll check yours out, Levante. So Demorcan, oh, this is good too. I like this. Nice warm tones all the way. This is very good. And then straightened it out, which is good. I like it. Oh, I like this too, Joni. This is, um, you really brought the reds out really nicely. I would have toned the blues down just a hair, but, uh, yeah, I like, I like how the reds and yellows came out without making the image too warm. But it's just a hair too cool. Um... I see your messages there, Elaine. What, um, still pretty kid kitty. <laughs> um, I just, I, yeah, when I'm editing and looking at pictures, though, I'm not reading the comments as much. I'm trying to focus because I have four minutes. But I like, I like this one so far the best, actually. And then this is, uh, oh, okay, Levante. Good job here, too. Really good contrast and good really good use of the way you did the colors you always you always have a good eye for colors on scene but your editing i don't normally see quite the same uh look in colors but you did a really good job here i like it very crisp very very crisp good editing here and what were you saying earlier look at the top right it's a shoddy extension of the sky Oh, I see. I see what you mean. You filled in here. Yeah, that's easy to fix though, right? I see what you mean. So that's that way you gave a little more headroom to the mast. I see what you did. Okay. But yeah, I like I like this edit. It's very, very crisp. Uh, and the color, you did a really good job keeping all the original colors. Ooh, look at this. This Wu Dang. Wu Dang's getting really creative. I, I know you took off or you left, so you might be watching this later. But your your editing has been really crazy. Like, I mean, in an awesome way. I, I wouldn't have expected that from you. I, I kind of picture more of a realistic type editing from you, but you always send in these really crazy ones, which is awesome. But I think this, this kind of editing is appropriate for this ship because it's very old, right? Oh, you are here, Wu Dang. I thought you took off. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would have expected, like I was saying, more realistic editing from you, but you really send in these crazy things. Um, 
Oh, and that's the original. And oh, okay, this is good, Rob. You really focused in on the shadows and uh <laughs> you cut off the mask at the top here. There's no more there's no more point. <laughs> A little bit too saturated for my taste, but I think you did a good job with the shadows and the highlights and everything. I think the tones are excellent. Just a hairless saturation and this would be perfect. But yeah, it's very dramatic, right Elaine? And that was a great edit, like Dave is saying. Yeah, definitely Wu Dang. Um, but I like this edit too. This is, this is a really excellent job, I think, on the tones. Much better than I would have done. Definitely. And here, Javier. A nice, wow, this is a nice softer edit with a purple. This is very different. Wow. I like it though. Nice tight crop on the ship, but still, still feels like it has room like i don't know it doesn't feel cramped it still feels right i don't know if that's the colors doing it or what but that's an interesting edit definitely i like i like the purple it's very different and this is from music sound gear okay solid solid a little bit of haloing though on the lines here like this this chromatic aberration that that might be my lens that's something i would fix uh that's easy 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 fix where's where is that uh defringing ah i'm jacking it up forget it forget it so, um, but yeah, a little bit of the fringing kind of left over. It looks like a lot of it, you other guys corrected for that because I didn't notice that before, but I do notice it in this image. But this is a good edit. I like it. Really makes you look at the lines and everything in the ship, all the, the, the ropes and everything. That's kind of where my eye is drawn when I look at this image. Whoops, too far. All right, and this was um, from... Why is there no information here? Marcel Van Cottom. This is a good edit too, very crisp. Yeah, see, I don't see quite the same chromatic aberration on this one, right? The, the lines are a lot cleaner. But this is a good edit. I like, I like how you recovered all the tones in here. And this is more of a teal-orange, like, cinematic-type edit. I think, um... I think that's nice. I like this. It's a little bit over-straightened, though. I feel like it's still tilting just a little bit. Need to kind of take it back just a notch and it'll be all right. <laughs> but this looks good. And I think that was the last one. Oh no, there's a couple more. Wow, look at this, Neo. Another one where he kind of just did a sky replacement, right? But that's cool. With this one, at least you kind of kept the twilight kind of tones, meaning like the other edit was a full on, you know, galaxy right milky way whereas this one is more of a an actual sky replacement rather than a milky way replacement and i think keeping the front dark like not recovering the shadows too much in the front really makes the picture feel more natural i do like that um this is a really neo's always really impresses me with his edits <laughs> um I don't know why, but your edits, your, your edits are normally my favorites of, of all the edits I get. Um, not sure that's my favorite today, but that's a good one. 
And then Dawood, okay. This is, uh, yeah, basically looks like he straightened it out and then tried to recover the shadows a little bit too much. The, the, the image feels too bright. But um, you did save everything. Everything is still there. But yeah, the straightening, I... Maybe it's just me. I guess this is straight. I thought it was crooked. Like, the last image was cropped exactly the same in terms of the tilt. But when I look at it full screen, it looks right. But this is a good edit. Very clean. Very clean. And, and kind of a muted a muted look to it. I would have just gone a little darker. All right, and I think that's it. Um, Dave's playing at it. Is it in here? Is there more to look at? Let me see. Oh, there, there's one. Image Rider. Okay. Uh, cause I think I got music. Yeah. So it must be this one that I haven't seen yet. Oh, look at that. Wow. I got to download this. Um, so that I can share it in the forum later. Wow. Just, a, just need to straighten it a little, but this is awesome. I like these very, sometimes I really like a silhouette image and, uh, this this is a really good silhouette of that image. I like it. Nice. And it really brought out the tones in the sky like for the for the blue hour cuz that I think this it's a little bit cooler than I remember. I don't remember it being that kind of cool, but um it definitely got the tones back in which um which are nice. All right, guys. And gals, uh, let's see. I got a button here somewhere. I don't know. This is close enough. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, again, for joining me today on another live stream. Uh, let me get some feedback, actually, about the... Uh, if you guys like the... The Lightroom edits, or do you rather I use Workspace? I mean, I'm kind of fine either way. I was, it's a little awkward in Workspace. I'll, I'll try and get the workflow a little smoother. Uh, so I'm not jumping around so much with the screens, because that, that can be hard to watch, I know. Uh, but I don't know. You guys, let me know if, um, or should I just mix it up? Sometimes Workspace, sometimes Lightroom. I don't know. Music Sound Gears prefers white space. Dave likes Lightroom. Jonas prefers Lightroom. Okay. Yeah, using the brush is kind of fun. I need to practice doing that. So that's why I wanted to kind of switch over to Lightroom. Yeah, I think I think I'll just mix it up, maybe, you know? So um We'll just, uh, we'll call, we'll call a shotgun next time. Whoever, whoever puts in first what they want me to do, I'll use that. How's that? But still, don't hesitate to send the raw images from any camera because I can, um, I can always switch to Lightroom easily and edit those and then go back to Workspace if I need to. So if I start in Workspace and you sent a Sony raw image or Nikon, it's okay. I'll just switch to Lightroom for that image, you know? Uh, rather than trying to convert it and all that, right? So, Photoshop, I suck at, Joan. <laughs> I, you know, the only thing I know how to do in Photoshop is really do some alignment and layering, but yeah, I'm not good at Photoshop at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, send send your Sony RAWs, Wu Dang. That that'll be fine. I can work work on those, but I'll, I'll mix it up. So maybe this week. I'll do some Lightroom, and then next week I'll do some, uh... so this week, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, I'll do Lightroom, and then, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, 
But as always, I appreciate you guys watching. It's always a lot of fun seeing your images. Be sure to check out my form because I'm going to upload all of your edits that you did on my image to a thread in there. It'll be obvious when you get there. It's in an image thread. Because uh, those are always fun to look at. I think you guys do an amazing job as well. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you uh, back on Tuesday maybe. This doesn't work.